The fall DIY season is officially here and in this video I've put together some of my favorite Dollar Tree fall hacks and DIYs to help you decorate your home for autumn on a budget. I've got so many projects to share with you so let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to fall decor, one of the most expensive things you can buy is a centerpiece, but you can easily make one yourself for only a fraction of the price. And there are a couple different ways that you can do it. The first is a hack that I came up with last year using these letter trays in the back to school section at Dollar Tree. You'll need at least two, and it doesn't matter which color you get because you can spray paint them whatever color you'd like. And for this centerpiece, we're going with a matte white and keep in mind, you can always hand paint these two. I just like to use spray paint because it's a little bit easier and a little bit quicker too. But once your trays are dry, you'll want to glue them together using a strong adhesive like E6000. Be sure to let the glue set overnight and then you can move on to the fun part, which is the decorating. And this is where you can get creative. I grabbed this four pack of small bowls to use as risers. I just flipped them upside down and then I added a pumpkin and some candle holders. The last step was adding a eucalyptus garland stuffed inside the crate we made. And it's as simple as that to make a beautiful full centerpiece. Keep in mind, this is totally customizable and you can make the centerpiece as long as you would like by adding more trays. All right, so here's another centerpiece option using Dollar Tree craft wood. You'll need five pieces in total and you'll want to cut one of the pieces in half. And keep in mind that yes, picking up the wood from Dollar Tree is convenient. It's just not the best deal. So if you can go to your local home improvement store and get your wood from there, you can save a little bit of money. And what I'm doing here is gluing the wood together to create a rectangular shape. And you can use hot glue for this, but if you want a stronger hold, if you're going to be moving this around a lot, I would recommend using a wood glue or another type of glue with a permanent bond. And once that's done, grab one of these Dollar Tree signs or a piece of foam board and glue it to the bottom. And this is going to serve as the base of our centerpiece. Next, add your candle holders and you can glue them in place if you want. And this is optional, but I did decide to paint everything black just to make the pieces look more cohesive. Then you'll want to add some floral foam and all of your florals. Again, the centerpiece is completely customizable. And all of these florals did come from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. So we're keeping things really budget friendly. And I love cutting up picks and using the different pieces like the pumpkins and the berries to give the centerpiece some dimension. It also makes them look more luxurious and expensive. And here is the finished centerpiece. It's so gorgeous and to me looks just as good as anything you would find in a high-end home decor store. Now, if you want something a little bit smaller, grab a Dollar Tree cake pan and you can paint this if you would like, but this makes an awesome base for a centerpiece. You'll add your candle holder to the middle and build around it. Use whatever kind of florals you want. My goal is always to make my centerpieces look nice and full using as many florals as I can. And also remember to break apart your picks and use the pumpkins, the berries, and the pine cones to add interest and dimension. And finally, the last centerpiece idea that I have for you, you'll want to grab one of these buckets. Dollar Tree carries these every year and you can paint them or just turn them around. There's usually no wording on the back, so it's as simple as that. Then you'll add your floral and your pumpkins and how quick and easy is that to put together a beautiful fall look. Dollar Tree has these really nice glazed pumpkins that come in orange and white, and these are great to hold jewelry or candy, but you can easily turn them into candles by melting some of Dollar Tree's tall glass candles in a pot of water on low heat. I always say low and slow is the way to go with these. It may take a little bit longer, but it honestly gives you the best results. And once the wax is melted, you'll want to take out the wicks, but don't throw them away. We're going to reuse them in our new candles. And all you have to do is hot glue each wick to the bottom of each pumpkin, making sure each wick is centered like this and then carefully pour in your melted wax. One tall glass candle fills up one pumpkin. Let the wax cool for a couple of hours and then trim the wicks and you should be left with gorgeous candles like this that you can keep for yourself to decorate your home or give to a loved one as a gift. 
If you're over in Dollar Tree's craft section, there are a couple different things that you should grab. First, these metal words, you can leave them silver or paint them. They take spray paint really well and only take a few minutes to dry. You should also pick up some of these wood rings. You get five for a dollar and 25 cents, and these make awesome napkin rings. Just grab a pumpkin from a floral stem or a pick and hot glue the pumpkin to the ring. And it's as simple as that. To make some fall themed napkin rings, I went ahead and made a matching pair. And here's how I would style both of these items as part of an autumn tablescape. First, you of course want to put your placemat out and your plates. Then I'm going to set the metal word on top and then the napkin with the napkin rings we made. I love how this looks and it was so easy to do. Another item worth picking up in Dollar Tree's craft section are these rub-on transfers. There are a couple of different designs to choose from, but these are really easy to use, especially on coasters. You can pick up some tiles from your local home improvement store for super cheap, or you can use some of Dollar Tree's coasters like me, and you'll want to hand or spray paint them to cover up the original design. Then what I like to do is cut out the image I want to use and carefully remove it from its paper backing, then place the image on the surface you want to transfer it to. And the best way I found to do this is to use a craft stick and rub it all along the design. Really take your time with this and it's so satisfying to see the results. These are the two coasters that I made and you'll want to make sure you spray them down with some sort of sealer before you use them so they'll be protected from any water damage, but these really turned out so pretty. And did you know the rub-on transfers also work on books? Just pick up some from Dollar Tree or the thrift store and turn their paper covers inside out like this. This will give you a clean canvas to work with. Then take your rub-on transfers. I'm using these letters and spell out whatever you want on the spines. Again, I just cut each individual letter and applied it to the surface. And don't worry if you mess up, the rub-on transfer rubs right off if you make a mistake. But here is the finished book stack super easy to do. Now Dollar Tree also has these faux book stacks during different holidays. This one is from Valentine's Day, but you can easily make it fall by painting it white and using some letter stickers. So here's what I spelled out, pumpkins, leaves, and cider, some of my favorite fall things. And then I added some jute twine to make it look like the books were tied together. And I think this looks so cute. One of the best items Dollar Tree puts out every year are these pumpkin clips, and there are so many different kinds to choose from, but my favorite are these velvet ones. I fell in love with this rust orange color, and you can use these to give a simple garland a fall makeover just by clipping the pumpkins right on. This takes only seconds to do, and it looks so good. And you can also clip these to wreaths for an instant fall makeover, and the best part, you can take these off of your garland or wreath when the season is over, and because you didn't have to use any kind of adhesive, just the clips, no damage is done. And when it comes to pumpkins, Dollar Tree has really stepped up its game. Just look at how beautiful these velvet ones are for only $1.25 a piece. And there are these sweater pumpkin picks. And one idea for these is to grab several and cut off their picks so that they are just these little cute pumpkins and place them in a basket. I think this looks so beautiful. And there are also these knit pumpkins that look amazing together in a wood bowl. This idea is perfect for a coffee or an entryway table. And if you're a fan of Dollar Tree hanging signs, they always have new ones for every season and holiday, but maybe you don't exactly know where to hang them up. I have the best hack for you. Just pick up one of these wood stands that come in animal shapes, or if you have a leftover standing sign like this from a previous holiday, you can easily convert your hanging decor into a sign that stands up on its own. Then you can display the sign in your kitchen or on an entryway table or in your living room or even outside with no nail or hook required. Every fall, Dollar Tree puts out these window clings. There are a bunch of different designs to choose from, and there's so much you can do with these. And one idea is to make over a candle. The clings stay right on without any glue. And here are a couple of different options with just one set of window clings.
Now with this other sheet, I really like the big design in the middle, and this is perfect to use with Dollar Tree's clear cutting boards. And what you'll want to do is flip the board upside down and glue the cling facing up on the bottom so you can see it when the board is right side up, but it's also protected so you can use the board with food or just as decoration. These jars that look like pumpkins are an awesome fall find at Dollar Tree and there's so much you can do with them. They come in both an orange and a clear glass. And of course you can put an LED candle inside for a pretty glow. Or my idea was to pick up a couple of Dollar Tree soap dispensers and remove their pumps and then make a hole in the tops of the jars. If you have a drill that works best or you can use a nail or a screw and some scissors to make your hole, basically use what you have. We try to keep things super simple with the DIYs here on my channel, but you just wanna make sure your hole is wide enough so that the pump can fit inside of it. And you can always spray paint the lid if you want. I'm going to spray paint one lid white and the other black. And once the paint dries, you'll want to glue your pump to the lid. And I'm just going to use some fix all adhesive from Dollar Tree. Fix all adhesive works a lot like E6000 and it's a couple of bucks cheaper. Just remember you do need to let it set for a couple of hours. And here is how the pumpkin soap dispensers turned out. I was so proud with how nice these looked. The soap dispenser is perfect for a kitchen or a guest bathroom. Basically, you wanna put it where lots of people will see it. And I'll have this full video linked down in the description box below if you want to see how I made this cute jack o lantern soap dispenser too. That's of course perfect for Halloween. Every year, Dollar Tree gives us new floor mats for the fall season. This is the selection, at least on the website, for this year, and those options are really cute. But if you want to get crafty, you can make your own using one of Dollar Tree's plain doormats and some of their poster letters. And all you have to do is take your poster letters and spell out whatever you want. I'm spelling out hello pumpkin, and I'm taking some spray paint and lightly going over the mat. And then you'll want to remove those sticker letters. And this step is optional, but I wanted my letters to be a bit more legible. So I went back over them with a black Sharpie marker, and this really does the trick. You just just follow the outline left by the stickers. And once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can set it out on your front porch for all your guests to see when they come over this fall, or at least your delivery driver, because in all honesty, that is who sees my doormat the most. Next, I have some fun hacks with foam pumpkins. We have so many foam pumpkin options at Dollar Tree now. You can also pick up a velvet pumpkin from Dollar Tree and strip it so that all you're left with is the foam insert and the stem. It doesn't matter what you choose to do. I just wanted to make sure you know you have options. And for the first hack, you're going to need some socks. I just picked up this pair from Dollar Tree, but you can use whatever kinds of socks you would like and just slide the pumpkin inside the sock and cut off the excess fabric and tuck the remaining fabric into the top like this. Then be sure to add your stem and in a matter of seconds, your pumpkin is done. I could see this project being really fun with some printed socks or some socks that are made out of like a sweater material. And this is definitely an easy craft you can do with kids. Really all of these foam hacks are. And the next one you'll want to grab a scarf and we're basically going to do the same exact thing. We are going to wrap the pumpkin with the scarf and tuck in the extra fabric into the top. If you find you have a lot of extra fabric, you can always trim it off. We just wanna make sure everything is looking good and for the most part, wrinkle-free. And here's how our scarf pumpkin turned out. And this hack also works with any kind of thin fabric you have on hand too. Okay, so I love this next hack. All you need are some napkins. I definitely recommend picking up some fall themed ones. I really like these sunflower napkins that I found at Dollar Tree. And you just need to peel apart the napkins and then start tearing them and applying them to your foam pumpkin using a glue stick. And honestly, this is really hard to mess up. And it's just so easy to do, but after a few minutes of gluing, you are left with a cool effect. And it's such a fun way to give a foam pumpkin a quick makeover. And this last hack is for anyone who loves marble print. You just need a tub of water and some black nail polish and dip your foam pumpkin into the water. And you guys, the result is so cool. I'm showing you the white pumpkin first. And now here is the black pumpkin with the white nail polish. All of this nail polish did come from Dollar Tree. So not only is it a cool project, it's also really cheap too. And I love the results. 
Every year we always get some really beautiful fall florals at Dollar Tree. And if you see these silver dollar stems, definitely pick some of these up. They are so pretty and also grab a basic wreath. Lots of craft stores sell these. I got mine from Hobby Lobby and you can use this wreath for all kinds of seasons, not just fall. But what I wanted to show you was I took different pieces of the orange silver dollar and just stuffed it into the wreath. And I added some pumpkin clips and you guys, this is another wreath that I made with absolutely no glue. So no damage was done and it was so inexpensive to make. One of my favorite things to give you guys every year are free printables and each one you see here, I will have linked down in the description box below. These are completely free. If you are asked for your credit card information, do not give it. You should just be able to download these to your device by clicking on the image. And once it's saved to your device, you can print it out and then pop your printable inside a Dollar Tree frame and you're good to go. That's just an incredibly easy way to get instant fall decor for super cheap. And another idea I wanted to show you is if you were in the Dollar Tree craft section and you see these little easels that are so, so cute, you can take a printable. I will again have this one linked down in the description box below and using a glue stick, apply the printable to the easel. And it's just as simple as that to make a cute little sign that would be perfect for a tiered tray or on an entryway table. It is just so adorable. Another easy way to make instant fall decor are with Dollar Tree shadow boxes. They have these every year as well in different patterns and colors. This is what I made for a DIY Dollar Tree coffee bar a couple of years ago, and I just printed off a Starbucks logo and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I will have that in the description box as well. And all you have to do is print it out for this particular project. I would recommend using some sort of cardstock or thicker paper, but I love the way that this looks, especially on top of a tiered tray. For this shadow box, I took out the background completely and I printed off one of my favorite fall quotes. This is from Anne of Green Gables. So if you're a fan as well, grab this and use it. And the last idea I have for you as far as instant fall decor is concerned is using a print from a Dollar Tree calendar. Dollar Tree gives us different calendars every year. And if you want the graphic that I use with this project, you can find it in this calendar this year. I'm telling you it's the same exact print and I'm just going to spray paint a large Dollar Tree frame and then and I'm going to take the graphic for October, cut it out and glue it to the cardboard backing that was originally inside of the frame. And what I would recommend with this is only putting the glue on the corners of the paper, not the whole thing. This will prevent your paper from wrinkling up. So use minimal glue. And you guys, this is the cutest sign for so incredibly cheap. And I'll just show you how I finished off this little section of my coffee bar. Now I did get this mug, I believe from Dollar General. It's so cute. And I popped a little pumpkin on the inside and I will have this video linked Linked down in the description box below where I put together a DIY coffee bar using a majority of Dollar Tree products. And another great item to pick up every fall are these leaf plates. I did pick up some more this year to do a new DIY, but this is what I did a couple of years ago where I spray painted the leaf white. And then I took some of these burlap pumpkins and these free printable tags, and I combined them to make a cute little tablescape. And this works of course with any pumpkin. You can just tie the tag around the stem and how cute did this tablescape turn out? All right, you guys, well, that's it for these Dollar Tree fall DIYs and hacks. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I have so many more fun decorating ideas for autumn coming up here on my channel, including some brand new Halloween ideas that I'm really excited about. So I hope you all will look forward to that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until my next one, I'll see you then.